What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel K Designs NY and in today's video we are going to be testing out the makeup drop which is um, that clear silicone sponge that everyone has been using to apply their makeup. Now if you guys remember I received this little makeup drop in my last beauty con box which is the summer box so this is how it looks it is very jelly like so i'm really interested to try it out i had seen different ones but i wasn't so sure how it worked and i received this one in my box so might as well give it a try because i didn't spend the actual money that i would have just on the single makeup drop as you guys can see i already have my eyebrows on <laughs> my eyeliner and lipstick so we're just going to apply the foundation. Oh, and I already applied the primer, which is the Makeup Forever Primer. And for foundation, I'm using this one, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And this one has SPF 15 sunscreen, which is awesome because right now it is super hot and humid here in New York. And this one does a great job in helping control the oiliness in my face as well as it stays a little bit longer than other foundations because when it is hot and humid here on the subway, you feel like you're in a sauna, literally, okay? So we're gonna get started and I hope I don't make a mess here because earlier I had a chocolate milkshake and I dropped a little bit on my white jeans, which was such a mess, but luckily I was in my apartment, so I was able to clean it up very quickly. Okay, so first of all, um, I read the instructions before this video and it said to apply the foundation directly onto the little sponge, so, oh, well, the little eye drop, I think that's what it, they call it, the makeup drop, okay. So since I did it the other way around, now I'm going to apply it here with my finger. Uh, okay, that should be fine. And then I'm going to start applying it. So, okay. Oops. All right, so I put too much on my forehead. Okay. So now all I have to do is dab... So the little corner, this little corner, is great to get into like those small areas like the eyes, like in between the, the eyes and the nose. Hold on, this is not blending like I would have liked it to. It's kind of hard just because I always apply, like I always blend out my foundation with the with the um, beauty blender. So I feel like that one really like goes into my, well not into my pores, but that I do a good job just making it look mm -hmm. even. All right, so here is the finished product. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Maybe if I set it with the powder, it might look a little bit better. I had just applied some of the foundation kind of like on the top portion of the, of the makeup drop and then with the rest of the um, area that was not covered in foundation, I used that kind of like to just press it a little bit more against my face and it looks way better than it did when i first started my forehead obviously that was like the biggest mess and it looks way better now i think it's just a matter of getting used to um using this one i, I don't know why i keep <laughs> trying to dab my face with it um it did a pretty good job in applying the foundation evenly and I think like in terms of hygiene, this might be a little bit better than the beauty blender. So I'm not 100% convinced. I think I have to give it a few more tries. But it wasn't like a complete fail. I know at the beginning it did look like it was horrible. But now that I'm looking at myself, it kind of looks the same way that it would if I had applied my foundation with the beauty blender. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is set the makeup and see how it looks. And I'm gonna use, oh, actually, let me show you first, the this powder by Maybelline, which is the Superstay Better Skin Transforming Powder. And it is in the shade 80, which is rich tan. So I'm gonna use this one to set my foundation. And I'm gonna use this brush to apply my powder the powder does come with this little sponge, but I don't really think it does such a great job in, in um, applying it. So I always use this brush and I love how it turns out. So I'm going to set it. And I've been loving this color simply because it matches my skin tone perfectly. I have never found a powder that like matches my skin as well as this one. So I already bought another one. Okay. I think it looks like similar. Like, I really can't tell the difference now that I set my foundation with the, with the powder. Overall, I think that this is a pretty handy tool. I don't think it's a must have in your makeup collection, but like I said, in terms of hygiene, I think this is way more convenient only because it's clear also and you can actually tell when it's clean versus um, the beauty blender and brushes. I found myself just like cleaning them and cleaning them consistently and it does take a while. Kind of like you have, you know that the brushes are clean until the water comes out clear. Versus this one, I think it might be a little bit easier to clean. So I will do that and I'll let you guys know how it goes. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.